it's time to pay, I tell you, listen, I know you owe me $1,000. I have only 700 And I know I have to pay today 100 It's my pain. But do you think if I give you the 700 one shot, you'll forgive me the further risk? If you say yes, is that benefit for me or not? Yes. That's permissible. All right? So now, now. He said when it comes to money, you have to be equal. Let's say for a thousand dollars, you have to give me back a thousand. Yeah. But if you went to Saudi Arabia and then yeah. you have the uh, yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. You can give equal to the dollars? La. Every, every, every currency itself, every country's coin itself is one kind of money. So a dollar is one kind of money. Dinar, Jordanian dinar, is another kind of money. Uh, Saudi Riyadh is another kind of money. So that means when I exchange Saudi Riyadh with American dollar, they have to be on the spot, but they don't have to be equal. It's like when I'm exchanging buying gold. I'm using dollars to buy gold, okay? They have to be on the spot, but did we ever say that the weight of the gold have, has to equal the weight of the dollars? No. Because gold is, is different, some kind of money, and, and dollars a different kind of money. And the same thing with all the currencies. Each currency, each country, whatever, has its own money. And that is considered separate. Just to take you back, to make you understand. When we talk about exchanging money, we said two conditions have to be met. On the spot, simultaneously, and equal. So what are the kinds of money that falls in this category? Gold, silver, that's the main two. Because that's what they used to use in the, in the past. And that is what the Hadith mentioned, okay? Okay, that will be the Hadith will fill, will fill. So if I'm exchanging gold, so, and the third thing, that is is contemporary thing is money. Money. money, the paper money. Now in the past they used to use gold and silver for money. The coins were used to be made out of gold and silver, dinar made out of gold, and uh, dirham made out of silver. But today we have a new thing, which is the currency. All right. So we have this category that has these these three monies, three different kinds of money. But that can, now dirham. Gold is gold, silver is silver. The third, which is money, includes too many things. Dollar, dirham, uh, dinar, uh, peso, whatever it is you want to call it. But each one, of, of its, each one is a different entity. So the way is gold different than silver, it's the way that dollar, American dollar is different than uh, Jamaican dollar. All right? Different than... Uh, Guyanese <coughs> dollar, different than Jordanian dinar or uh, Moroccan dirham, right? Each one itself entity. Now, so I have all these kinds, gold, silver, American dollar, and everything else, all right? If I exchange from the same category, meaning gold with gold, it has to be equal and on the spot. If I exchange silver with silver, equal and on the spot. If I change dollars with dollars, American with American, equal and on the spot. So did real with Saudi Riyadh, equal and on the spot. If I exchange, that is called, let's say, intra exchange, meaning in between, within. Let's talk about inter, meaning between. One intra means within, inter between. So if I exchange gold with silver, it has to be on the spot. But it doesn't have to be equal, because gold is more than silver. So you don't give 10 grams of gold, expect 10 grams of silver in return, or vice versa. So, but the other condition has to be met, which is? On the spot. Now that is one category, it's called the monies, okay? As man. And the other category, which is? Food, for example. And we mentioned few few conditions. It can be weighed, it's edible, all that. Rice. So you have rice, wheat, dates, raisins. That is different category. People don't buy and sell using these things. People buy and sell using gold, silver, and carrots. So with those things, as the hadith said, the same story. 
So we have dates, we have barley, we have raisins, we have uh, wheat, we have dates. If I go exchange date with date, it got to be similar on the spot. Don't tell me, nah. Why would somebody change something similar, but dates for dates? Different kinds. Yeah, to be. I have a great brand, a great, cl a great uh, class of, of dates. But you said it has to be the same weight. Yes, so who gonna do that? Two pounds and you give me two pounds yes. for that one. Yes. Now why someone would do that? So some people have different reasons. Okay. So again to the rule is if I exchange gold uh, if I exchange wheat with wheat or dates with dates, it doesn't matter what kind of dates it is. You know if you've gone to, to, to Saudi Arabia or a Muslim country or a country that sells dates. You can walk in the store and they have thousand stacks, thousand kind. You can get a pound for one riyal, and you can get a pound for ten riyals, riyal <laughs> and thousand, whatever. All right, that doesn't make any difference. If this is called dates and this is called dates, of course each one has its own name. But if this is dates and this is dates, if you want to exchange them, then you better exchange the same amount on the spot. Now what? But I have good dates, but I want the other kind. Or I have bad dates, I want the other kind. How, what can I do? Sell them sell them. I sell my bad dates, and I go buy the good dates. Now, why I can't do that? Because now I'm exchanging different amounts when I buy and sell. Because that you're going to buy and sell using money, using gold, using silver, using dollar, using riyal, and you are selling dates, which is two different categories. So within the same category, if you exchange the same thing, it has to be equal and on the spot. If you exchange between in the same category, it has to be on the spot, but doesn't have to be equal. If you exchange between those two big categories, then you can. It doesn't have to be in the same. It doesn't have to be on the spot. I can give you $10 today for, for a pound of dates, and you bring me the pound of dates tomorrow. There is no problem. All right? So that is when we talk about the, the issue of riba. That is where Qurud came as an exception. Why? Because when I tell you I lend you $100 and you have to pay me back how much? $100. Right? That is loan without riba. $100 fall in this category. And we understood that if I exchange, if I give you 100 you have to give me 100 back. On the spot. On the spot, simultaneously, the same amount. But now we are we are violating the condition of on the spot. That is the exception for this golden rule to make it easy on people when they borrow and then they lend and they borrow. You got it? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's talk about some uh, contemporary uh, applications of a loan of a river that some transactions, some uh, dealings that we do and to, to see where the riba is and where it's not. Where it's things that we, a lot of us are doing, need to avoid and sometimes it's beyond our control. The first thing is general loans. If you are in general, if you walk into any bank and you tell them I want to borrow $10,000, it's just uh, right there they tell you it's 5%, you pay us back $12,000, for example, whatever it is, okay? That is, that is RIP, right? That is RIP. So most of the banks, unless, unless it's, it's strictly Islamic, and when I say strictly Islamically, that means really Islamic, because a lot of banks out there call themselves Islamic banking, and they are not, okay? The way they do it is just tricks. <laughs> Either. All right. So, in general, most banks in the world, you walk in to borrow X amount of money, you usually pay back more. That is riba, riba That is something we all know, and we all know and understand. It's haram. Now, this kind of riba uh, involves two types of riba. There is riba called riba al-fadl, and there is riba called riba al-nasiya. Riba al-fadl, meaning I give you give me you lend me 
$10,000, I pay you back $12,000. That $2,000 is fun, is extra. That is riba, one kind of riba. Okay. I give you $10,000, you pay me back in a year.